eight, count them eight, such max some box back. I don't know what we're making them all. We're not gonna make all these bags, are we? The Peppa Pig one is stood up by a thing of string. <laughs> Another one stood up by the Vegemite. This is Kitchen Twine, by the way. Let's look through these and see what appeals to us, okay? Continental Sachi Mac? We'll put this in the okay pile. San Remo, single snack mac and cheese flavor. Religious. Religious. <laughs> I like the cut of the jib of the pasta. So I'm saying it's, it's in the okay pile. We got a pasta and sauce from Bachelors. Oh, so yeah, so the Bachelors that we did was on our first UK special. Yeah. And was it a sachet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm putting it in the okay pile. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig we gotta do. There's no question, right? Because it's Peppa Pig. Uh, and then we've got these two gluten frees. We should go in on at least one of them. They were sent in from Australia, for goodness sake. I tell you what, just put them in the okay pile. All right, that's a good idea. <laughs> we got this cheese flavored rice, which is not really a Mac. No, but we should do it. It's weird. Yeah, it's okay. Put it in the okay pile. Uh, and we got this, this is really easy to cook, so we'll make that. <laughs> I hope you enjoy Mugshot and Peppa Pig. <laughs> Let's see how hard these are to make first, shall we? I feel very disorganized because I don't know what I'm doing. Because you decided to sit on the couch until the show was decided upon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Five minutes, I was trying. <laughs> okay, that's it. It's a no ingredient Mac. You just put it in a pan, cook it for a little bit. Let's see what, uh, what the snack shop one is. We put it in a mug. We have to make boiling water and then we fill it to 15 millimeters from the brim. This is one of those, they don't tell you the measurements because do they think you have a standard UK cup? I don't know what a UK cup is. How about this one? Anything made in a mug is gonna be disgusting. <laughs> a little bit of milk and butter in this one on a stove top, so this is made on the stove as well. Okay. All right, I guess I'm gonna need more pots is the moral of the story from the pot repository. One pot that we sometimes use one pot that we never use. Well, I figure for a sachet, a, a teeny tiny would be a okay. A teeny tiny itsy bitsy, would probably for Peppa Pig. Oh, it's Peppa Pig shaped pasta. See that there, Jack? Got a pretty good looking pasta there. Again, this is a gluten free. I'm gonna use the finest butter we know, Frankie. Carry golds, we love you so much. Carry golds. We love you so much. Let's make it Jamaican. Carry gold. We love you so much. Carry gold. We love you so much. Hey now. Hey now. Carry gold. Carry gold. <laughs> we got a little bit. Oh, geez. A bag of misc fell off the table. A little bit of butter. Yeah, just a slice. A yeah, slice of butter. Frankie, could you stir the pepper pig, please? <laughs> you want to try that again? <laughs> Frankie, could you stir the Peppa Pig, please? You have to hand me a spoon. A Peppa Pig spoon. I think we like it because the spelling of Peppa, you know, it has no R. We grew up in New England, obviously. People yeah. have accents here. We have a, a, a bridge that everybody knows about called the Braga Bridge, B-R-A-G-G-A. -G -G -A. But I thought for my whole childhood that it was Bragger, and that everybody was just pronouncing it Braga. Braga Bridge guy. It's in celebration of some man named Braga. Braga. Most words don't end in Peppa. Braga. Oh, the bird is not on. It didn't feel right. <laughs> to just slosh around cold pasta. 101 episodes, folks. You gotta turn the heat on. Another one like that was uh, the word tarp. You know, like when you rake leaves onto a tarp and sure. drag it into the forest. Yeah, I thought it was like, oh, it's like a top. Yeah, go get the top, which is what my dad would say. Go get the top. I gotta go get the top. I can't wait until there's a little heat under this. Every time we've made one in a mug, it's come out awful. Mug-wise. Yeah, you don't want to be making anything in a mug. It's gross. Give it a sniff, Frankie. Tell me what you think. Strong. Not of cheese, by the way. Onion. Yeah. Onion! UK and onions! I was gonna say maybe urine, but... Fill to 15 millimeters below the brim. As they'd say in the UK, the directions are shit. Yeah, it's a bit shit. It's a bit shit. The last time I made one of these, it was super watery. And I'm actually giving 30 millimeters of space between the top of my mug and the top of the Mac. As to thin it later if necessary. Yeah, could you stir the, 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 the? Did you put heat on? Yes. I now have to ask that question. I'll never let it down. 10 years, we'll be talking about it. Not supposed to do box Mac into your 40s. <laughs> we'll pass it on to the next generation. <laughs> Glow can start doing it when yeah. she's 10. When she's seven, six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, men approaching middle age making mac and cheese doesn't mark it quite so well as adorable kids. <laughs> Those approaching middle age men really stuck to that mac and cheese concept. Episode 1000.
which will also be Christmas. John hasn't aged a day. No. <laughs> it's like in that Boy Meets World episode where Corey is flashing forward to when he's an old man, but Feeney's a waiter and he's the same age. Empty your pockets, Mr. Matthews. They want you to take the rose. They want you to take the rose. <laughs> Boy Meets World, by the way, is awesome. That looks like a furious boil. We're supposed to turn it down and let it simmer for 10 minutes uncovered. These definitely still feel hard to me, though. I guess the 10 minute simmering time is meant to. It's like when you cook rice. Do you ever cook rice on the stove top? Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> Peppa Pig's nearing completion, Frankie. Nearing pepletion. I've never seen an episode of Peppa Pig in my life. I've never seen it. But I think she's cute. Yeah, I, I, the idea is very cute. You know, pig, girl, yeah. etc. That looks like a furious boil to me. Yeah, let's, uh, let's calm that boil a little bit. Turn it down to just a click above low, would you? A little lower than that. That's a little too low. That's, still, that's not low enough. <laughs> I just went back to where it was. I want to say our first Satch at Mac ever was maybe in the teens. Yeah. In 100 plus episodes. I don't understand why this would ever be easier than a box Mac. No. You stir it continuously. It takes way more time. It's still done on a stovetop with a pot. Yeah. I don't understand how and this is easier. Two of the three of these have the same ingredients as a normal box Mac. It's not even like you, there's the added benefit of like, yes, but all the ingredients are already there. Yeah. Right? I mean, I guess that's the case for this Peppa Pig one that I've literally just thrown in a pot with a little bit of, of pleasingly pleasant water. The onion one is really oniony, isn't it? It's like onion pasta. Well, at least it doesn't smell like ham. Chessy and ham. So I way underdid the water and it's still a goopy mess. It's mac and cheese soup, basically. And that's way more than 15 millimeters, EJ. I'd like to ask that a smart ass in the comments tell us what we always do wrong with mug, mug Macs. Yeah. Because I don't think we do anything wrong. I don't, I think it's a completely defective product and yeah. everyone knows it. Oh, you guys, the, uh... Do you want to try Peppa Pig? Yeah, sure. Why would you ever do a shaped Mac like this? This is all just symptomatic of the fact that the UK doesn't have their Mac game down. No, they don't have, I think there's a perception that the UK doesn't have their food game down. The UK isn't known for its cuisine. I'm sure they have a rich history of food. Bangers and mash, etc. Fish and chips is another one, yeah. But you're right, I mean, they, they ain't no France. No. They ain't no Italy. No, just about every other culture, like Germany has. They ain't no Spain. The fine sausages, Spain has all kinds. Of, so if you think about it, they're all kind of shite. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, Peppa flakes on it. I don't know if that's part of the branding. I doubt it. Yeah, there's some little Peppa flakes, and I can't tell what the shapes are. I assume pigs. It tastes like onion pasta. Yeah, very little cheese. Kind of potatoey too, yeah, weirdly. Yeah, I don't taste like any cheese. You know what it tastes like? It's like pasta in a pasta-based sauce. Mm. Like, the sauce is made of pasta. Right, that's true. Yeah. It's like pasta on pasta cream. <laughs> yes. By the way, England, this is why you're not known for food. Let's creamify the pasta and pour it on top of the pasta. It's bland. <laughs> Just a tiny hint of onion is the only flavor. I guess that's, that onion could be conceived as cheese in the right light. It's not, come on. Oh, this one looks pretty ready too. Meanwhile, this is... Wasting away in Margaritaville. This is the has no brand. It has no brand. It definitely has an onion scent to it. Do you agree, Frankie? Take a pre-sniff. Yeah, what the hell is going on with all the, onion? the onions? Well, the pasta's not quite done. No. A, a typical issue of- uh, Of these sachet Max. Well, as far as the pasta goes, in terms of like gluten, high quality pasta. It's pretty good, I guess. It's pretty good, uh, but the, there's no cheese here. Yellow colored onion sauce. My darlings, my darlings from the UK. Well. There was nothing there. Uh, so why don't we try another underwhelming pasta? Here we got our mug pasta, which I've let thicken a little bit. Yeah, I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frankie. This is why they pay you the big bucks. Yeah, it's a big responsibility to choke down gross food. Ew! Yeah, Smells faintly of chicken and onions for a product that is a cheese pasta. Super watery I again. So, I think so far Ew! Oh yeah, it's slimy. I don't wanna eat it. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, it's hot. Just don't burn your precious. <laughs> Gross. It's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Why are there slime balls? <laughs> There's slime balls in it. <laughs> it's like eating warm snots. <laughs> it's, it's one of the worst food experiences I've had. <laughs> Why am I eating warm snots? I have to. Look at the. Oh. No, 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 seriously, seriously, seriously. Look, do you have that? Hold on. <laughs> oh, snot. <laughs> snot Mac. All new kids edition. Get some Snot Mac. Mmm, mug snot. Well, the slime aside. Um, the slime aside, it was awful. Really bland broccoli in there? Yeah, a little bit of chives, I guess. Between the snot. <laughs> Maybe the people in the UK just like really bland food. Yeah, I think there's something up with the UK. Or Australia. Or yeah, wherever. or wherever this, this thing came from. How dare you make fun of our mac and cheesy c <laughs> <laughs> So, so far, Frankie, Peppa Pig has been the best. Oh, by far. That one had milk and butter in it. 
Both of I these. I didn't taste there. them. There's yeah. Kerry Gold in them there. Kerry Gold in them there, Hills. Oh, God. The pasta snack you make in a mug. <laughs> <laughs> the pasta snack you make in your and, nose. And as expected, Frankie, the last one is not ready. Oh, how's it going over here? Go ahead, try a noodle, because I don't want to have another undercooked noodle. <laughs> It's totally acceptable for us to taste test. All right, fine. It's not like the other one. Why'd you give me a handful of blades? Because I'm tired. The pasta's nice and big. Well, it's definitely different than the other one. It's no onion. It's much better, but not cheesy. Good. Vaguely creamy sauce with a little bit of herb in it. Herb. The sauce is so thin, too. There's mm. no, even though I added butter to it, it tastes like there's no fat in Have it Have we at ever all. had a sachet where the, the, the sauce wasn't terribly thin? Yeah. We have? Oh, uh, like the Bear Creek one, but remember it was awful. I think Peppa Pig for me wins the day. Try one more bite of Peppa Pig. And the Peppa Pig portion is pretty, um, it's pretty piss poor. Well, I don't know what happened in the, t in the intervening time, but yeah. that has no flavor anymore. <laughs> None. It's just pasta. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but don't buy any of them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to, to discount the efforts of the people who send in these Macs for us, but they're not good Macs. It's expensive for them. Yeah. Terrible. We had fun. We had a good time. See, so. see you next time. See you next time on Box Mac. Stealing the dinner rolls again. <laughs> and the sweet and low. I didn't take any sweet and low. What's in that pocket? Okay, but I only took three bags. <laughs> Mr. Matthew. This is coming out of your tip. <laughs>